So hello everybody, it is Fridays and it is time for another Tax Fridays, you know, a new tax function every Friday. Okay, so today's Tax Fridays video we're going to solve the mystery that we had last week with the sorting. And it was a solution by Akil Asu, sorry for saying your name so horribly. Um, we are going to use the performance analyzer in a different way and we're going to talk about the all selected the function that um, you know has been updated by the power bi team on power bi desktop update may 2019 so this month basically okay so let me introduce you very quickly to what the issue was uh, i was showing you on the previous tax Fridays videos that you can highlight the highest and the lowest point very easily with conditional formatting link down below to see the exact workings of that but i'll show you too that you know this is not sorted by year month and once we sort it by year month uh, let me going back if we go here to sort by fiscal month year, the conditional formatting disappears. And I was like, oh, stamped on it. Like, oh, I knew it was something easy and I knew that you'll find it and you did. Thank you, my dear Ashil. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to show you what the issue is. And we're going to do that using performance analyzer. It's super cool. Let me show you. So you can actually see what's going on. I don't have to just say it i can show you so if we remove the uh, sorting the conditional formatting will work again let's see what happens let's go to view performance analyzer start recording and then you can click here on this little font, uh, window and it will just refresh that visual and tell you how long it took to refresh but there's here the query that was sent to the analysis services and you know to, to the power bi engine if we copy that query you will see let's put it let's do it again we will copy that query you'll see here what is the query that is actually sent to the engine it's not what you write it's something else so it says okay top end summarize columns calendar year month we say so it's creating a table and it's summarizing by year month and then uh, by sales and then it says okay this is the conditional format in the highest value summarize these by year month and order by year month descending okay what happens now that's the interesting part let's stop this what happens now when i go to year month modeling tab sort column and sort by year month Okay, so now it's sorting, right? So we're going to run this query again and see what query is sent to the Power BI engine. So uh, we start recording, click on this small window, and then we get here the new query, open it up, copy query, go to notepad or anything that when you can see whatever would you just copy it. And here's the new query. And here you can see that it's summarizing columns by year, month, and by sort year, month. And then it's sorting by uh, sort year, month, descending, and calendar year, month, descending. So it is introducing this sort year, month, obviously, to be able to sort it into the query. And if we go back to Power BI, and now we can stop this and close it, in our you know the DAX measure that we created that does this highlighting of the highest and the lowest value we had here a table or a function that said okay all the selected year month table but the sorting is not included in here that's why it's not being able to sort properly so guess what may 2019 power bi desktop update they have updated the all selected function what are the odds for that and um, this is exactly what we need for our measure so we see here it says the all selected function now can have multiple column names you couldn't have it before but if you have the may update it can so it says you can actually have a table name or a column name and it says 
if uh, there is one argument, the argument is either table name or column name, and if there are more than one argument, they have to be from the same table. Okay, so if you are going to add columns here, they have to be from the same table that from the first one. Okay, and for us it works beautifully because the sort year month it lives on the calendar table too. So we're going to add that one. So this is what we're going to do. Here's the thing. Intelligence does not work yet on all selected. So it's going to give you an error fast, but there's no error. Let me show you. So we're going to copy the syntax because it won't help us write in it. So I will copy the same column. Now I'm going to go back to the sort column. Copy that because it, I gave it a very stupid name. So sorry about that. We go here to the highest value and we are going to change these with the sorting column. And as you can see, the intelligence is telling us that mm -mm -mm, that's not going to work, but we don't have an error sign, which means that it's not available intelligence yet, but it, it is a working function. So if I click on the tick box and say, show, do it, suddenly we start getting something. So you say, oh, but now it's highlighting just the highest and all the lowest, and the other ones as lowest, because we haven't selected that on the lowest value. So if we just go in here, let me copy everything. So we go in there, copy, and then we go in there, comma, like that. It's going to give us again an error, but if we just ignore that completely, Voila. So now it's highlighted the highest and the lowest, and it is sorted. You see, July, August, this is 1998, February, March, April, May. So we've used performance analysis to see the dash queries that are sent to the model. It was very useful in this case. We have learned about all selected, and uh, it is Friday. What can be better? So I'll see you again on Monday. Have a fantastic weekend and take care. Bye.